In the evening, he texted me to thank me for meeting him and giving him a gift. He said he was very happy and told me that I was cute, not as described myself in our texts. I replied that maybe he hadn't met anyone as ugly as me, so he said that. He said he sincerely meant it. I knew myself, if I'm the second ugliest, then there's no one uglier than me. I'm the ugliest and least capable person in my family. Small face, high cheekbones, big eyes, big nose, wide mouth, skinny body, poor health, so I'm very insecure. I guess he said that to comfort me. He also mentioned that he has dated many people, and mostly, when he goes out with girls, he's the one who pays. I'm the first person who split the bill with him, so he's quite impressed with me. You know, it's not because he doesn't have money, but because I'm straightforward. I'm not naive to split the bill with him, I just want our relationship to be fair and equal. Nobody owes anybody. He also said that I shouldn't feel bad about myself. Just be myself, and I'll be happy. Suddenly, I burst into tears. It's been so long since I've heard words of kindness, comfort, and encouragement. My heart was overwhelmed. After our first meeting to satisfy his curiosity about me, we talked more often. In the evenings, he continues to sell goods until 11 p.m. While I knit and crochet to earn extra income. We talk on the phone for hours every night. He even said that if he doesn't talk to me, he feels like something is missing. Could it be that he wants to have a closer relationship with me? I'm scared, and I didn't respond to him for days. You know. My fears and insecurities resurfaced because I'm very sensitive to those kinds of remarks. I'm really afraid. I'm afraid of being hurt again, and I don't want to go further in this relationship. I avoided him, and he couldn't meet me or talk to me. Freedom forever might still be by my side. I thought if I didn't respond to him for a while, he would give up like other guys who talk to me. But I was wrong, he still quietly messaged me every day even though I didn't respond. Am I selfish and disrespectful to others, everyone? If you think so, then I'll accept it because human nature is hard to change. For a whole week, I didn't message him, and then he stopped talking to me too. At this point, I felt empty and something was missing. I told myself to let it go. He's a teacher and also a businessman, so he should date someone beautiful and talented. I'm just a plain, ugly country girl, with nothing much to say. People will stop paying attention to me after a while. Freedom is forever. Then, one day, as I was leaving work, I saw him. I was really embarrassed, and he smiled brightly and greeted me. I was so shy, folks. People in the company were pointing fingers, their curious eyes fixed on us. I just greeted him and kept walking forward. He followed me and said he wanted to meet me. He wanted to talk and chat with me every day. He didn't know if something had happened or if he said something to disappoint me. He just wanted me to tell him. I stood still and told him that he hadn't done anything wrong. It was just because I didn't want to talk to him anymore. He said there must be something that made me unhappy. He could wait for me. I should stay calm, and I could talk to him later. Meeting me made him happy already. His words somewhat relieved me of my self-doubt. I didn't say anything more and tried to walk quickly ahead to leave him alone on the road. I ran fast back to my room and cried. It's been a long time since I cried. I don't know why his words made me cry so much. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I should have replied to his messages. That night he texted me to ask how I was, just like any other day. And then I texted him back, apologizing for not replying to his earlier messages. He said it was okay. He understood me and started talking to me again kindly. Suddenly, my heart warmed up again. I felt peaceful and serene listening to him talk. We kept chatting like that for a few months. He proposed going to a fair in the province together. It was on a Sunday, and I agreed.
He waited for me outside on his motorcycle, looking very cool, completely different from his usual demeanor. I was overwhelmed by the beauty of the bike. He said the first time he took me out. The bike had to be beautiful. I lost my freedom when I sat behind him on the bike. One hand drove, and the other pretended to hold my hand. I gently let go and put my hand on his back. I told him to focus on driving, and he laughed and continued to take me. The fair was very crowded, and we toured around. They sold a lot of handicrafts and other products. There were also food stalls and entertainment areas. He walked beside me and deliberately held my hand. I pushed his hand away and told him not to do that. I said I was leaving. He blushed and turned away. When his hand touched mine, my heart raced faster than usual. Could it be that I had feelings for him? I shook my head and immediately dismissed the thought, saying it couldn't be true. I was just imagining things. Perhaps he was testing my feelings. I had to focus on myself because one's heart couldn't be probed. After a stroll that drained us both, we decided to stop by the food area. A refreshing coconut drink helped relieve the sweltering heat and exhaustion of the summer. He looked at me for a long time, and my face turned red under his gaze. He said he wanted to meet me and see my face. I jokingly told him that I thought he'd run away the first time he saw me. He shook his head and said I only had negative thoughts about others. I smiled and looked back at him. I feel shy and hesitant to look directly at you. Sometimes I wonder if you're testing my feelings and wanting something from me. I don't know anymore. I can't think much. Suddenly, you say to me, Hey, can I get to know more about you? You suggest we could understand each other better. I'm stunned and tongue-tied hearing you say that. I awkwardly respond that we're just hanging out and chatting every day. You think I don't understand your intentions, so you continue, saying you want our relationship to go beyond just friendship. You speak quickly and nervously, a stark contrast to your usual calm demeanor. You go on to say you know a part of me and want a chance to learn more about me. Your words stir something within me. My heart is conflicted, and in my head, I wonder if I should open up to you. We've been chatting and confiding in each other for quite some time, perhaps around five months now. I want to extricate myself from this conversation, but I feel you're genuine, and I should be open with you. So, I tell you that before we start getting to know each other more deeply, we should be honest with each other first. Let's clarify our personalities, circumstances, and future plans before deciding whether to give each other a chance or not. I believe it's essential and very necessary to establish this transparency before entering any relationship. True freedom won't be lost to me if we both understand each other clearly. Will we ever embark on a new chapter of love together? Is there a path strewn with roses ahead for us? If you find this video interesting, please subscribe and share the channel. Stay tuned for the next video to see how our romantic story unfolds.